Hi guys, Andy here again, and in this video we're checking out how to play some reggae offbeat strumming. Now this is the third level in this uh, series of videos that are providing you guys with a, a strumming beginners course. And uh, you definitely want to make sure you checked out definitely the on-beat strumming in my first video, because for this reggae strumming video, we're going to be looking at how to play the offbeats, which are the ands. Now, even if you're not into reggae music at all, but you like acoustic guitar music, or even kind of rock music, um, I really recommend that you stick with this and try it with a concept, because in my experience, people are separated into two camps. People that can hear the offbeat, and people that just cannot and they really struggle with it. People that just get drawn once they've been trained to play on the beat, they just keep getting drawn back to the beat, okay? So just as a recap, the beat is the count of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can play eight strumming with maybe downs and ups or all downs for a fast or a slow song. And all those are covered in the previous set of videos. But for this one, we're just playing the ands, so one, and, two, and, three, and, four. And just by doing that, and by muting on the beat, using the outside of our hand, so we strum, and then straight away, we kind of karate chop our car, but uh, our, our car, our guitar. But uh, we don't want to percussively hit just yet, though if you can do that, it's a cool skill. We want to just silence our guitar, straight away and the weird thing here is we're not playing on beat one so one and two and three and four and and straight away that gives us a reggae type feel so three little birds for example don't worry about a thing and any reggae music will likely have this off offbeat feel to it however it's not specific to reggae music if you like any Jack Johnson or uh, maybe Jason Mraz, their style is full of, of this sort of playing. Uh, Bruno Mars, the lazy song today, I don't feel like doing anything. It's got these offbeats to it. And as I say, it's a gateway to making sure you understand these fundamentals of music. We've got the on in the offbeat. As always, with all of these videos, uh, we have a drum beat to play along to. So I'm using an A chord here as an example playing on every and and just muting straight away afterwards really if you want it to sound really authentic for reggae music strum the thinner strings and mute kind of as soon as you've heard it sometimes in reggae music the guitar doesn't even sound like a guitar because it's it's so short but let me give you an example as always we have a two bar counting so we have one two one and two and and one and 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 one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four if you've never done it before it's the most bizarre thing in the world i understand because i've trained you or you've you've been trained to find the beat so you want to go one two three Oh, more than anything. But if we listen carefully, you should be able to hear this this uh, hi hat sound. Okay, that's what you're playing on. That's what we're strumming on. That's where our hands are. Remember, the the hi hat toss often gives us the strumming that we should be doing. But rather than letting it ring out, you could mute on the beat. So mute strum, mute strum, and get a get a tap. Or we can just mute as soon as possible, just on our A chord, and make it sound authentic to reggae music. If, hang on, if we like the idea of this this tap sound that's something you're into well you want to be aware of we, we do want to be using a pick and uh, we want to be using the outside of your thumb so we're going to tap that almost in the middle of your sound hole but bear in mind that the actual tap sound 
sounds best if we're hitting the strings against the metal frets on your guitar. This is where you're going to get the best tap sound, as opposed to over this side where there, there is no kind of tap unless we're hitting the strings kind of against the, the metal frets. But you can also do that where, where we're strumming in the normal position. So for example, just muting normally nice and soft with the outside of my hand for a reggae type jig and then for a Jack Johnson kind of Jason Mraz percussive idea you want to just hammer your whole hand down and make sure that your strings are you're pushing the strings onto the frets themselves to get this tap sound and that tap would have to be on the beat so tap strum tap strum is your one and two and three and four and one and two and and this wants to be as with all your strumming patterns they really have to become second nature before you can use them in a song because we can't really think about chord changes if I'm really really counting one and two and three and four and I mean imagine counting that in your head and trying to sing along to it for example it's just that's too much to think about something has to be automatic kind of first of all your chords or changes do have to be automatic and then we look at trying to make this strumming as automatic and we kind of think about the things that happen together when things happen together to try and get you up to a high level let's just have one more go along to the record or along to this drum kit that I've provided for you it will be on this playlist the next video along or click the link to the website where it will be embedded there at andyguitar.co.uk or play along to me now from an A chord and 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 one and two and three this is the reggae style really short and 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 one and two and three and four and then the Jack Johnson kind of tap tapping on the beat for one and two and three keeping your hand as similar to motion as you can to a normal strum don't um, try and I've seen lots of I've seen a lot of people's hands get very active at this point so uh, try and keep it as normal as possible don't go don't think too much about the action strum and hit it down just hit those strings straight into the body of the guitar one and two and three and four and and that's how we do your reggae offbeat strumming.